Hello everyone. Welcome to IWE Expert. Today we are going to see one of the interesting as well as more demanding project in machine learning. In today project we are going to discuss how to use fingerprint. How to use fingerprint to predict our blood group. This is the project which we are going to discuss today. Before jumping into project, let's see what's the meaning of blood group. Blood group means each and every person in the world contains different blood group. Actually, this blood groups are are uh, categorized into six categories a positive b positive ab positive ab negative o positive o negative these are the blood group types some rare blood groups or groups also there for example r type blood groups uh, like some rare blood groups also there what is the methodology in traditional system you should detect a blood group in traditionally they are using some chemicals they are taking your blood samples with the blood samples they are adding some chemicals with the combination of chemicals the blood group uh, blood will react okay it will form into different structure based on that plasma type they will predict your blood group whether you have belong to a positive or b positive ab negative or b negative these are the technology they have used in the existing system availability of chemicals you have to carry lot of chemicals with you to detect your blood group for example if you are going for that blood camp means uh, around 1000 2000 person will come so you have to carry lot of chemicals with you also one more thing there is a chance of there is a little bit chance of this is spread so you have to collect some needle to take the blood sample why are that needle maybe some contact will happen so some disease will spread those are the major negative and one more negative was time consuming it takes some some time for example 10 minutes 5 minutes it will take some time to detect your blood group So that is the major uh, drawback of the existing system. How we are going to overcome this drawback system was with the help of our proposed system. So in our proposed system, as I mentioned earlier, in our project we are going to use fingerprint. So for example, A positive, B positive, A P negative, B negative. These are the random blood groups, you know. For example, we have to collect various fingerprints according to the blood group. we have to collect various fingerprint with the various persons we have to form the data set with the help of machine learning as well as deep learning we have to train all the data sets all the data samples which we are collected so it will extract the feature from the persons for example a positive means what type of fingerprint they will have having b positive means what type of fingerprint pattern they are having it will recognize the features and it will store in the memory so with this technology only we are going to predict our blood group so for complete demo of this project please watch this complete video we have explained the complete presentation of the project complete demo of the project uh, let's go to the project base paper explanation first this is the project base paper which you are going to discuss today artificial intelligence and image processing technique for blood group detection This is the project they have implemented in a existing system. This project published on IEEE 2024 year. In the title itself or in the abstract itself they are given that they have used MATLAB to simulate this project. They have done feature extraction to the blood samples which they have collected. For example, you can see the data set they have displayed. So this is the data set they have displayed, okay? They have taken concern for the execution. in the sample itself you can see this is the invasive approach you can see they have collected blood samples with the help of blood samples only they have performed the blood group classification this is completely a existing system to overcome this only we are going for the proposed system in the proposed system you can see in the existing system they have taken blood samples from the blood samples itself they are going to conduct the blood group detection so this is the completely existing system the accuracy of the existing system also 85 percent to overcome this only we are applying proposed system so this is our proposed system let me explain our proposed system blood group detection using fingerprint as i had mentioned earlier in this project we are going to use fingerprint for detecting our blood group let's go for the abstract in the abstract i mentioned that to develop this project we have to use deep learning we have to use deep learning algorithm only predict the fingerprint to predict the blood group traditional blood group approach approaches based on the invasive invasive means 
they should collect your blood samples but in our proposed project we are going for the non invasive approach non invasive means you no need any blood samples directly you can conduct directly you can predict the blood sa- blood group with the help of your simple finger prick in the proposed system we are using conversion neural network existing they are using normal ma processing sampling algorithms let me move on to the introduction subject in introduction subject we are mentioning that existing system usually invasive as well as time consuming you have to perform some me- chemical operation chemical conduction to predict your blood group but our methodology completely non invasive very rapid there is no amount of waiting time for you instantaneously it can find out your blood group so background blood group is a a uh, fundamental procedure in all the medical diagnosis the first step itself you have to predict your blood group okay so blood group prediction is very important in medical field as i mentioned earlier in existing approach they are using non invasive approach with the help of blood samples so they should mix your blood with antibodies some chemical antibody uh, bodies with the help of chemical reaction the blood will be mixed into plasma by conducting the antibody test only they are going to predict your blood group the major drawback was it's invasive required blood sample as well as it causes time it consume lot of time okay resource intensive you need some specialized equipment specialized chemical to perform this operation cost of this chemicals also high this is the existing system drawback proposed system in proposed system we are going to use conversion neural network which is completely non invasive you no need any chemical you no need any blood samples okay that is very much accurate when compared to the previous system so also in this project we are getting good accuracy score precision score as well as f1 score compared to the traditional base paper approaches so in the proposed system why we are using conversion neural network means conversion neural network we said they are designed specially to predict the uh, deep learning operation also in conversion neural network we are using a uh, fully connected layers these fully connect, uh, connected layers are directly connected with the traditional 2d conversion layers so that it will perform better when compared to the normal uh, deep learning operation also it having huge memory size so there is a uh, little number of training loss okay which lead to higher accuracy this is the architecture of the project in the architecture the first step itself we are going to collect our fingerprint a blood group b blood group c blood group for multiple blood groups we have to collect the blood group samples finally we have to make sure the data set having complete uh, sizable images then we should perform some image normal image processing operation to resize normalize the images finally the feature extraction feature extraction will perform the specialized features for a blood group of a positive blood group what are the features considered in all the images belong to a positive for a negative we are, we are using thousand images means what are the common features among the thousand images in the a negative blood group this is called as a feature extraction finally these features should be trained under conversion neural network conversion neural network will store all the features for a group a positive a negative b positive b negative in a pkl file the model evolution we have to use the same cnn to test the uh, any random images random fingerprint you have to apply it will extract the features belong to the test image it will compare with the already trained pre trained value then it will give the results this is the blood group for your uploaded fingerprint if you are finding the accuracy low means then you have to retrain again okay but we are already pre trained for better results we are getting 98% in our proposed system finally the web application we so have to build the web application the front end ui for user easily to perform or detect the operation okay you don't need any back end you just need front end to detect perform the all the operation okay web application by using flash or flash platform we have to use this project so this is the methodology involved in this project data set collection pre processing model design model evaluation four methodology four parts this project divided into four parts so okay it's clearly explained here this is the sequence diagram of the project class diagram of the project activity diagram of the project then these are the results you can once you purchase the project means you will get all the materials all the steps okay for example in our proposition we are getting 98% accuracy 
In existing system, we are getting 85% accuracy. So precision recall also we are getting around 95 to 96%, which is higher when compared to the existing system. To implement this project, you need minimum i3 processor with 4 GP of RAM. Also, you need Windows or else Mac processor or Mac processor uh, operating system. Coding language, we are using Python, HTML, CSS, JavaScript here. Okay. For a web platform, we are using Plask. In conclusion, we have mentioned that by using this deep learning approach, we are predicted the blade book very efficiently when compared to the existing system. Also, the conversion neural network is analyzing the fingerprint pattern to estimate your blood group. Okay, uh, it will eliminate the laboratory equipment, laboratory function, chemicals at all. So this is completely non-invasive. There is no chance of spread, disease spread. Okay, this is the conclusion. Finally, we are given reference for this project. Okay. Next, we are, we are going to move the demo of the project. So please connect with the video. Thank you. Let me move on to the project demo. To run this project, we have to go to the project code folder. So this is our project code folder. In the data set, you can find the various uh, images for our uh, various group. <coughs> for example, A negative means you can find various images, various fingerprints for A negative as well as for A positive, you can find the same for AB negative, all the images differentially stored on a particular database, okay? To run this project, we have to run our main code. This is our main code. To implement this project, we have created various pages, okay? HTML pages, Python codings, as well as we are using CSS JavaScript also for running this project. So, to run this project, just copy the location where app.py present. Just copy this, just go to the Anaconda, open the project terminal. In the project terminal, cd space paste the project location. That's it. After that, python space app.py. To run this project, python space app.py. Just enter that. Once project executed means, you can find the localhost address. Just to copy the localhost address, Go to any browser, in the browser, open the incognito tab, paste the project address. So if you have pasted project address means we can get the home page. This is our home page of this project, this is home page of our project. Just go to the login page. So to login this page, you have to create a sign up. In the sign up, just create the account to run the project. In the account, I am using username as a Kumar. Uh, for example, I am using Ramesh. Ramesh, email id ramesh at gmail.com. Password, uh, username Ramesh. Password 123, I am using. Same confirmation password also, I am using 123. Just give sign up. So it's successfully generated. Once it's successfully generated, means Sorry, username and password already exits. So I have to use different username and password. So Ram I'm using. Username will be Ram. Ram at gmail.com. Pa username same Ram. Password 123. Again I'm using same. 123. Same confirmation password also. I'm using same 123. That's it. Just give sign up. On sign up successfully then means account created successfully. Those details are stored in the database of the project. So this is our database. It's stored over there. Then go to the login page. In the login page, I am just using wrong password 123. Wrong password 123. Just sign up successfully. Once sign up successfully means you can upload your fingerprint and you can check. Before that, let me go on to the about page. In the about page, you can get details about our complete project. Just click methodology. In the methodology, it shows blood group detection using fingerprint using deep learning. This is the project which you have uh, created. This overcome the traditional blood group detection involved in the invasive methodology. So this project completely based on non-invasive method. This doesn't need any specialized equipment or chemical. Also, it's less uh, time consuming when compared to the existing system. Okay. So these are the steps involved in the project. Dataset collection, the normalization with the open CV, pre-processing step, training step, testing step, then optimization using RDM optimizer, then front-end designing with 
flask back end designing with sql the overall achieved accuracy belongs to 98 percentage so this is our project methodology then go to accuracy so we are reaching 98 percentage accuracy 6000 plus images present in our data set overall the code has been trained to 200 times to achieve the better result training your ROS will be 1 percentage okay this is the result then go to the data set in the data set we have presented various data set for various player group for example a positive sample images then b positive sample images ab positive sample images ab negative sample images we have presented various images to inquire about more doubts just click the contact us form this is the contact us form okay now directly i'm going to the now directly i'm going to the login page again the login page i'm using ram password 123 again okay so once enter the login credential means here you can upload the fingerprint images and you can check the result just choose file in the choose file i am just choosing any file okay just choosing any file i am using so go to the python projects in the python projects web group direction then code i have used some test images a random test image just to choose any of the image just to open just click predict blood group so get your results you to get your results just click that so the result will be b positive oh, sorry b negative the image uploaded belongs to b negative blood group okay i am uploading one more images here one more images this time i am using this image 442 just click predict blood group so get your results so image you are uploaded belongs to a positive i'm just uploading one more images for your uh, conclusion this image i'm using 26 just upload the image once you upload it means you can get the results so see me positive i'm using one more images uh this time i am uploading 377 this image i'm uploading same click play uh, predict blood group so get your results go to the results b past likewise you can get many results okay this is the methodology we are working go for the accuracy page so how accurate this project to validate accuracy of this project you can get the results here so the overall accuracy of the project 98% which is already mentioned here 98% accuracy we are achieving which is huge when compared to the existing 85% so the training loss also precision recall value everything mentioned here so this is the training loss so we will get around 0.15 percentage of training as well as testing loss okay so the overall architecture of the project also shown here everything completely end to end project okay to get this project please contact itbexpert.com we do provide this project at best to price okay thank you